<laughs> feel. Feel. Deal heal. And I definitely jumped into another relationship so fast. It got my mind away from like stuff. And that's not a way to like run from things. Uh-huh. It's better to like deal. Mm. Heal. That's a good one. Deal. deal, deal. Heal. heal. And then feel. Feel. <laughs> deal, heal, and feel. Feel. Salute squad and welcome to class, guys. We got a good one for you today. And you know, welcome to Nosy Ninja News, where we learn how not to be a dummy for some rich dummies. All right, guys? You know our fixation on this family, keeping up with the Kardashians. So we're going to keep up with the Kardashians today, guys. Why do Kim Kardashian date Hollywood's biggest leftovers, guys? This is a goddamn shame. That, that, that girl not ugly, man. She not ugly, man. But I told you, it ain't about vanity. In this world, guys, it's not about vanity. The ways of the world, everybody clamoring to look like something. But it ain't about nothing, guys. In this world, it's about substance. The prettiest folks are the most loneliest, the most depressed, guys, because it ain't about vanity. It ain't all roses. So let's go on and get into it. And let's 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 try to find out why. Cause you know she beefing with a sister. She beefing with a sister. This is the most dysfunctional family, and everybody want to keep up with the Kardashians. It appears that Odell took the bait, according to multiple sources. Kim and Odell have been spending a lot of time together lately, and apparently, they are planning to go public with their romance very soon. However, Fans are criticizing Kim for being messy because not only did Odell hook up with Chloe, but he also reportedly left the mother of his child, Lauren Wood, for Kim. Now, this isn't the first time we've heard about the Kardashian sisters sharing men. However, Kim recently claimed that the next person she dates can't have any heavy baggage. So how exactly does OBJ fit this description? Kim probably forgot to mention she'll date whoever can bring her the most publicity, because she recently sparked romance rumors with Chloe's other ex, Tristan Thompson. So, how did Chloe react to Kim's rumored romance with Odell, and why is Kim going after her sister's exes? Let's dive into it. It seems like Kim Kardashian has found a new man, and it's none other than her sister Chloe's ex, Odell. Damn. Damn, 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 sis. You can't find your own man. You can't find your own man, Kim. God damn. It's a million simps out there that will love to sleep with you. You can't find your own simp. God damn. Del Beckham Jr. ever since Kim was dumped by Pete Davidson last year. She's been on the hunt for a new boyfriend. However, She recently claimed during an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians that she has very high standards and a list of requirements for her new man, including being calm and having no baggage. Protect me, fight for me, good. Good hygiene, calm, no mom or dad issues, patient, supportive, no heavy baggage. I have enough. Did she say no mom or dad issues? Is you crazy? (laughs) But fans are now saying that Kim obviously wrote this list just for the show because you can't really describe Odell Beckham Jr. as calm. Remember when he got kicked off a plane and verbally insulted an elderly man just because he was asked to put on his seatbelt? As for the no baggage part, Odell has a lot of it. He's been linked to numerous women in the industry, and he also previously sparked rumors that he's bisexual after a video emerged of him and a teammate in a hot tub. Then, in 2018... You want to hate when the motherfucker was living, goddammit? Now the motherfucker dead, fuck the son of a bitch! Fuck him, goddammit, and fuck anybody with his ass! Yeah, y'all know the motherfucker ain't no good. You want look? All you motherfuckers been snitching for him and shit. Uh, now you now you standing up in here, goddamn it, talking about 
Preach it, preach it, preach it, preach it. Fuck that nigga. Fuck that. I'm going to shoot your ass. Keep on, motherfucker. Keep on. You don't get shot too, nigga. You don't get shot. God bless. God bless the fool, God damn it. God bless the fool. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm going to end this goddamn thing. Look, where's that goddamn money bowl at? Who got that money bowl? We're taking that money right now for you, leave this bitch. We ain't leaving out here for free, motherfucker. And a teammate in a hot tub. Then, in 2018, OBJ sparked controversy again after an Instagram model he partied with during Paris Fashion Week leaked a video that angered Odell's former bosses of the New York Giants to the point where they considered trading him. The video showed Odell next to a line of white substance, and another woman was seen sitting next to him on the bed while holding a credit card. Another woman Odell was linked to in the past is none other than Amber Rose, Kanye West's ex-girlfriend, who pre- Die, Kim. You just like Amber Rose leftovers. Damn, Kim, yo, you 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 too you too fine for that. You too fine. Get your own man, Kim. Get your own man, Kim. Previously claimed Kanye cheated on her with Kim. Most recently, Odell dated social media influencer Lauren Wood, best known for her appearances on MTV's Wild N Out. In November 2021, Odell and Lauren announced they were expecting their first child, and in February 2022, Lauren gave birth to a son. Now, while Odell and Lauren never announced they've broken up, they haven't been spotted together for a couple of months, and some sources are now saying that Odell ended things with Lauren after Kim entered the picture. But here's the messiest part. Odell also previously hooked up with Kim's sister Chloe. Following Chloe's divorce from Lamar Odom, Chloe and Odell first sparked romance rumors back in May 2016, when they were spotted getting cozy at Scott DeSick's birthday bash in Las Vegas. Just days later, the Daily Mail reported that Chloe and Odell were dating. Later that month, a video emerged of Chloe and Odell kissing at Scott's birthday event, and several sources also saw them hooking up at Drake's Memorial Day pool party at 10AK in yeah, a lot of stuff be happening at these Drake parties, man. I see. Goddamn. Well, Kim, that got to feel uncomfortable. That got to be uncomfortable now, Kim. Like you're messing with your you're sleeping with your man, with your sister's old man, and you know how y'all girls be. Y'all girls don't know how to let shit go. Now, it shouldn't be a problem because that's not your man, Chloe. That's not your man anymore. But we know how y'all sisters do. We know how y'all women do. Y'all females do. Y'all modern women. So territorial, so clutchy. Mm. Las Vegas. The two were spotted getting very close, and it even looks like they may have kissed at one point. Chloe, however, later claimed she never dated Odell, but she never denied they hooked up. Even if this was... All right, so why you mad? Why you mad right now then? Why you in your feelings then, sis? You see the bullshit? Don't try to save face. Who hurt you? <laughs> Who hurt you, sis? Just a casual thing. The thought of dating someone your sister previously hooked up with would gross out most people. But not Kim Kardashian, because reports recently emerged that she's been hanging out with Odell a lot and they are allegedly waiting for the right moment to go public with their romance. One source told The Mirror that Kim and Odell have been spending time together very recently, also adding that Kim definitely has a new love interest. The crazy part is that this news comes just weeks after reports emerged that Chloe was furious about Kim hanging out with her other ex. Tristan Thompson Back in July, Kim and Tristan were spotted partying together in Miami while Chloe was at home in LA. Chloe was reportedly so mad that she didn't even want to answer Kim's FaceTime call. Kim and Tristan watched a soccer game together and were later seen leaving a nightclub with huge smiles on their faces. While it this is where Kim clearly is one of those people that don't have boundary, boundaries and standards, guys. She don't set none of those. 
So you you got to watch yourself around her. She just wild. It's a wild girl right here. It's unclear whether Kim and Tristan stayed in the same hotel. Chloe was very upset about their night out. When Kim tried to FaceTime her from the club, she rejected her call. Kim even posted a screenshot of the rejected call on her Instagram stories and wrote, she hates us. One insider later told OK Magazine that Chloe hit the roof when she saw photos of Kim and Tristan partying together because they looked very much like a couple. The source also said that Chloe was shocked to see the outfit Kim wore that night and described it as raunchy. Kim wore a very revealing outfit to dinner the black leather halter top, leather pants and heels. Tristan wore a see-through black top and black pants, and they matched perfectly and frankly looked like a couple. The insider also shared that Chloe was devastated, but this time she's blaming her sister, not Tristan. It's humiliating to be sitting at home in LA taking care of Tristan's kids while her sister and her ex are out partying in public, the source added, now, no one actually believed Kim was genuinely interested in Tristan. However, we all know she's interested in making headlines by any means necessary, which is probably why she now decided to go after another one of Chloe's exes. As for Chloe's reaction to rumors about Kim and Odell, sources close to Chloe are saying she's still waiting to see where this is going before she confronts Kim. However, she's apparently already decided to distance herself from Kim because it feels like she's constantly in competition with her sisters and will stop at nothing to be the center of attention. It's sad, Kim. You running out of family members, girl. We just reported on you last night and you was you and Courtney was was at neck and neck and not odds. Now you and Chloe. Shit, Kim. You you running out of you running out of people. As for fans, they're now calling Kim messy and disgusting for going after her sister's exes, and they're dragging her for being desperate for attention. One fan said. I don't want anyone that one of my sisters, aunts, uncles, brothers, cousins have been with. That's just gross, nasty, and disrespectful. Another fan wrote, gross. I know home wrecking is part of the Kardashian brand, but this is low. People are gonna drag her, as they should. Look what happened with Ariana Grande breaking up a family with a new baby. Is she that hard up for a man? Chris can't work her black magic and get a high-profile man that hasn't already been inside of her sister. SMH. But how do you feel about Kim and Odell's romance rumors? Do you think it's just a publicity stunt? And is Kim going after her sisters? Let me know your thoughts. That's a fact, guys. Now let's take this to the comment section and let me know what you think. You think it's a publicity stunt? Because we know Kim, Kim Kardashian is all about them cameras, boy. Anything that's going to keep her name in the news, she with it. You know what I mean? But is she enjoying? Is she dabbling the pudding? We know that she is with Odell. But y'all give me your thoughts. How y'all feel about the Tristan joint? My sisters, would y'all chill with y'all sisters, baby father, like, like that? that? That shit crazy to me. But anyway, I ain't going to hold y'all much longer. Yeah, wrap up, strap up, drink responsibly. Do not play with your life, guys. We do this for the culture. We out of here. Put your hands together! Listen!